welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe. As you know, I don't get paid for this, but I do feel that, you know, that I'm destined to do this in order to raise the uh, collective's consciousness. So thank you so much for joining me. Let's see what your oracles say. So thinking, have a lot of questions, or there might be a soulmate that might be coming in or that you're dealing with, and you're very thoughtful about this, or they are, okay? I sort of feel like they had there had been some sort of issues in the past, and so I think that, um, you know, you all are thinking or you're thinking about that. But most definitely a soulmate coming in, okay? Very nice. Um, Never-ending story. So maybe you don't want to be in a specific cycle that you've been in with this person, all right? <sighs> Not for you. So this person who you think is your soulmate, or might possibly your, be your soulmate. You know, enemies are also soulmates. Everybody plays, at least that's what I think, their role. And so... You can have soulmates, you know, your siblings are soulmate, your parents are soulmate, you know, your love is a soulmate, but you can also have enemies that are soulmates. So there's an ever-ending story with a soulmate, and I'm so sorry to tell you, but this person is not for you. And usually when this card comes out, they really are not, okay? So there's a change in the wind. I think you can feel it. You've gained great wisdom with this, all right? You might come into, um, you know, a new house as well, or you might be moving in, okay? You might be mending something with this uh, soulmate, okay? But I'm getting very confusing energies here like this. So maybe you're going back and forth and you know that this person's not with, not good for you, but you really want them and there might be an opportunity of coming together. But I think you felt very alone with this person, okay? But I do feel that there might be some sort of like slow and steady, some treasure coming in from a masculine energy that's going to be very stable, okay? And might have property, might be in real estate, might be a CEO, all right? Something that's been resting, I think, all right, yeah, no place like home. There's going to be some sort of property, home coming in. So possibly, you know, this was something in the past that was a never-ending story, and that wasn't for you, and maybe you're getting out of a cycle for this, okay? Uh, you need to be flexible, all right, for this new transformation to come in. It has to be different from when it was before if you're going to get together with this person because you were very depressed, okay, and you prayed to God probably to get out of this and then you're going to go back in. So make sure that you don't go back into the same, same shit, all right, because that's what it was, all right, and... Um, because that's not going to be good for you, all right? So I do think that you're going to be given a leg up, so some sort of help, and then there's going to be a new beginning. Let's keep on going with this. New beginning, all right? But right now, be here in the here and now. Don't reach out, all right? And be in your feminine energy. Allow for things to get here uh, and for you to receive, you know, and, and let people be in their yang energy in order to reach this milk and honey and for them to be able to take actions. Make sure that you observe, all right? See if this person is really what they're saying, really matches their actions. Don't, you know, don't fantasize about whoever it is that they are or or however it is that you see your life with them. Don't do that because that gets you into trouble. It looks like you will be getting a, a loyal heart. I feel like there's two sets of, of energies here. Someone that might be coming in or might still be, or might be um, coming in into your energy or might be in your energy, but there's also a past person. So you know who I'm talking about. And then I think with this person, you're going to be able to create and then have some sort of community. And I think you're really cleaning up the past. And I think that that's really going to bless you. And there's going to be an exchange of gifts. But right now you're in between world, worlds, okay? So everything by the book. So that way you get, you know, your justice. This is poetic justice. This is, um, you know, karma, all right? And it's faded, all right? So, yeah. But do the work, okay? Because there's a huge new life coming in that's really going to level you up in terms of position, status, you know, spirituality that you need to leave the past behind. That was an unfinished business. Unfinished symphony. Yeah. Have a higher power. Pray, manifest that everything that you choose for you to be able to choose what's in your highest good. And then you're going to be receiving a message, right? Not all that glitters is gold. So most definitely this person that's coming back, it looks like you need to go, you know, you need to leave. Of course, you know, it's up to you. Don't listen to tarot sometime. Then after you see a lot of tarot, you know, it gets it gets difficult. But this person is, is no goody, no bueno. 
and you know breathe be balanced and then chaos and conflict i think there were lots very much chaotic and conflict i think that you saw past their mask and i think that there's a fork in the road and you want true love okay and i think that this is really going to open you up okay and go the distance where you're going to find peace and that's everything that life is about being you all right and you're going to bring in another soulmate that's going to be very different but also it's going to be much better so wait it out love and light hour you know just check and observe you know and see may the best person win right love and light ciao